to mark the anniversary. My principal role as Mike's producer is to enable him to do what he does and to give him that platform to go forth and make it all happen. It's a unique relationship and I'm very fortunate to have worked with him for so long and we have a team that come back time and time again. Cut it! I first worked with Mike in 1990. 28 years, isn't it? Yeah. 28 years we've been doing it. 12, 13 films. He's obviously always has the freedom to ask somebody else, but so far we've had a long marriage. Don't worry about it. If you can do, but don't, but let it go. Yeah. I cannot believe it's my first experience on a film set. To be taught how to do things on a camera by Mike Lee is sort of like the best kind of training, really. But I also think there's so much to take from it. Building a character and how a character works is so useful and vital. It's just acting. Well, it's film acting. <laughs> yeah. But it's only like looking out on the stage yeah. and not looking at the audience. Yeah, yeah, looking at the, yeah, you know. just looking through it, yeah. The main thing is about spending a summer working with Mike Lee. And as an actor, people don't spend a lot of time with you on the prep, on rehearsal. It's, it's very sort of thin on the ground now. So to go and work with somebody who's rehearsal and prep and on research is everything was like a dream. Working with Mike, I've just loved the right to go and spend vast quantities of time reading and writing about a period of history, developing a character with Mike over weeks and weeks, and then standing them up with other people and seeing how they bounce off each other is a really privileged and lovely way to make a living. Mr Johnson! Once you have created your character, and Mike has chosen the, the scenes from the story that he wants to look at, and once you've worked out how your character would behave in that scene, Mike kind of structures what that scene will be and the dialogue within it. Mr. Oates. And sometimes you've got an awful lot to try and remember. So once you come to camera, uh, you've got to repeat absolutely verbatim in every gesture that you did in the rehearsal, which is a lot harder than I, than I thought it was going to be. It's very difficult, it's not easy, but it was great. And I was eager to just get stuck in it because Mike Lee got me into acting because I'd grown up watching his films. Action. Most directors would storyboard the whole of that St. Peter's Field Massacre and it was put to Mike getting a storyboard artist in, and we talked about it quite a lot. And in the end, he decided against it. And that was absolutely the right call, because it would have been someone else's film. It's not the way he works. He wouldn't have been devising and bringing to life. He would be looking at a storyboard on a piece of paper and trying to pigeonhole that against the way he works. It wouldn't have been successful. It was organic. It's unmistakable as a Mike Lee film. Basically, that's what it is. It is a Mike Lee film. Every scene within it is supported by his history of film direction. 